Darth Thanaton, I believe we spoke once before. I hope you've settled into your new role. Your brief career has been of great interest to me. And with Darth Zash dead, I think it's time we finally met. If you'll be taking up Zash's work, we have much to discuss. Meet me at the tomb of Darth Andrew, outside Kaas City. This doesn't sound promising. Forgive me, I lack Zash's natural charm. Trust me when I say, I look forward to meeting you. Something about that Thanaton guy rubs me wrong. Your pirate friend has good instincts. Thanaton had me confined to Bromon Cast when we killed Scotia, and he'd have done worse if he had proof. He's not to be trifled with. Be careful. Thank you for meeting me here. Respect for her superiors is the mark of a good Sith. Of course, Zash would have disagreed, did disagree with me passionately on that point. But then, Zash never respected tradition. It's wise to respect your superiors. At least until you're powerful enough to kill them. Wise answer. You are not like your master. Tradition. Principles. History. The threads that compose our society. Zash refused to acknowledge how one little tug could ruin the whole tapestry. Your work was sloppy, brazen even, but the news of her murder was sweet. I didn't want to kill her. It was self-defense. Nonsense. Every apprentice wants to kill their master. It's not a fault. Nevertheless, we're here to talk about you, not Zash. You have demonstrated remarkable ability. Though I am a stricter master than Zash, I think you'll find that to loyal followers of our traditions, I am not ungenerous. I know the Sith Code. Is there something else I'm supposed to know? The Sith Code is only the start. You must study the history of the Sith. Make it your own. Now, I wish to see how you work. This tomb belonged to Darth Andrew, Sith scholar and alchemist. I'm interested in his last writings, which were buried with him. Recover them for me, and we will discuss your place in my power structure. Venom-toothed vipers always slithering, slithering. Up the walls, along the floors. Trespasser, trespasser. You'll not have it. It's mine. It's the last place in the galaxy that's mine. Darth Andrew, I presume. Don't mock me, my apprentice. You know me. You killed me. The poison's still fresh in my body. You defile my tomb. You and your brother both. The venom may have burned away my sight, but I know you. Don't make my mistake. Strangle your children at birth. I'm not here to chat. You will die before I hand over my writings. This is where Thanaton leads those he despises to death. You follow him blindly when you should plan to defeat him. I could have defeated that ghost easily, until you got in the way. You can't attack a ghost with your lightning or your weapons. Only powerful rituals can defeat the dead. Listen, flesh of my flesh. I have felt something in you since the day we met. You have a rare pull among ghosts. It's a source of great power, but it has destroyed many a Sith. It's your only chance against Thanaton. What do you mean I have a pull on the dead? They sense you from far away as I did. And you rouse strong emotions in them as with this ghost. 
In my time, there were mystical movements among the Sith that sought to communicate with ghosts and harness their power. A Sith named Urgast was said to devour ghosts the way your Tashar devours Force users. His knowledge was buried with him near the Dark Temple. Seek this knowledge. I hope this knowledge does what you say. Good luck, flesh of my flesh. Don't make me remind you again that you are the last hope of our lineage. You must augment your power before you face Thanaton. I will not have the strength to defend you again. Lord of the Sith, Keeper of his knowledge. Who stands before me, and what do you wish to learn? Teach me the ritual that allows me to devour the dead. There is no such ritual. The dead cannot be consumed. But ghosts may be bound, and their strength borrowed for a time. You must pull on the tether that connects life and death. You must learn to bind both sides of the Force, life and death, in what is known as the Force Walk. Sounds easy. Where do I start? Easy it is not. Know to the bones that lay around you. Not everyone is able to master the ritual of Force Walking. But if you are willing, drink from the cup before me. It is poison. But it will not kill you. Have you drunk? Good. The poison will take effect quickly. Then you may learn the ritual of the Force Walk. you are unconscious, we may begin. The ritual has two parts. First is the pacification. An angry ghost cannot be tethered. The second part is the binding. A willing ghost is easier to bind, but by leaving the ghost its will, you draw less of its power. A pact may be formed to bind the ghost willingly sealed with blood, or the ritual and binding may be performed. Good. You're a quick learner. It's been a long time since a creature of such promise has entered my tomb. There has to be more to this than a little dreaming. A very quick learner indeed. You might just make it out of here alive. This is the test. Bind me, and you go free. I'll walk with you a time and see the Empire once more. Fail, and I kill you. And don't bother trying to make a deal with me. I'll not go willingly. You 
have passed the final test. I am now your slave, and my power is yours. I am bound to your life, and you to my death. Use my strength to shield yourself against your foes. Back again. I hear your slithering. Venom-toothed viper. The only cure for madness is madness. This is called the Force Walk. I'm taking your power for my own. And to think I scoffed when they told me such a ritual existed. Do you really think you can handle my power? It doesn't matter. You won't have me. This is my last stronghold. And I won't be your slave. Then I guess I'll force you to come with me. You treacherous! Well done. With the power of this ghost and of the other, you may shield yourself against Thanaton's wrath. Take this one's writings and show Thanaton what a good apprentice you've been. I got what you wanted. Hmm. You've put me in a difficult position. When Zash disobeyed me and had Scotia killed, tradition demanded she be killed and her power base destroyed. Believe me when I say I wish that you had stayed in that tomb. It will pain me to watch you die. Forget tradition. The Force shall free me. Isn't that the idea? Without these traditions, the Sith would be so awash in their own blood, they couldn't see their enemies taking aim. May the Force welcome you with open arms. Kill her. <laughs> You truly are relentless. I can see now why Zash chose you. But this has carried on long enough. Astonishing. I didn't expect one as reckless as you to have prepared such a defense. Unfortunately for you, I am older and wiser and studied in rituals you can't even imagine. I have business on Malachor 3. Prepare my ship, and dispose of this mess. Yes, my lord. My lord, you're awake. We need to hurry out of here. If Thanaton finds out you're still alive, we're all in trouble. What happened to me? Thanaton tried to kill you. Look, I'll explain when we get back to the ship. My lord, you're back. <laughs> Thought you were gone. Guy could get trampled by a bantha herd and not get knocked around as bad as you. 
We followed Thanaton's servants, cut them down, and pulled you out of a ditch. You didn't have a pulse at first, but then Carl noticed you were still warm. I don't know how you survived that. That explains why I'm still alive. Where's Thanaton? You sure you're ready to face him? He did a real number on you. Your survival is the most remarkable thing I've ever witnessed. I still can't quite figure it out. It seems Thanaton's ritual was too powerful for your shield. But he didn't fully understand the bond between you and the dead. To kill you, he would have had to purge their spirits. You died, and their very presence kept you alive. That's great, but what do we do? We can't wait for Thanaton to come back and kill us. If only we knew Thanaton's vulnerability. He's not part cyborg, by any chance. No. Thanaton despises modification of that kind. He only defended Scotia because he liked me less. We need to make it so Thanaton can't break through your shield. Corrin's right. His servant said he looked pretty drained after he knocked you out. Just a little more power. It's a gamble. None of us know what the cost of acquiring so much power so quickly could be. We don't seem to have any choice. Exactly. Better to do something than sit here and wait to be killed. So where do we find more ghosts? The Jedi on Tannis were investigating something of that nature. I sent a man to investigate shortly before my unfortunate change. I'd have to do more research on the matter to confirm, but I suggest making contact with him. Doesn't anyone have anything more... solid? I wish we had more to go on, but right now that's all I have. Corin and I will dig around too. And we'll keep an eye on Thanaton. If he makes a move, we'll let you know. Good luck, my lord.